misanthropic overlord, Werewolf Tyrant, and you're listening to Rat Gut Podcast. That is right. Welcome, everybody. Rat Gut Podcast. Thank you all for tuning in. I know it's been a minute. I've missed you all, and I appreciate you all coming back on this little journey of mine. Remember, Rock Up Podcast is brought to you by Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing, 300 South State, Clearfield, Utah. Make an appointment to go there, get tattooed, pierced, or even a facial. Um, any of you lovely folks that want to contact me, you can reach me at rockuppodcast at gmail.com or on any of the social media bullshits. Uh, without further ado, let's get started with some goddamn motherfucking metal. Here you go. Defeated, destroyed, and divided. This one's going out to the Joe Biden administration. Way to fuck things up, buddy.
from the album Afghanistan. I'm sorry, I meant Bloodlands. That was defeated, destroyed, and divided by the band Totalitarian. Man, I haven't talked to you guys since April 17th. Last time I talked to you, I had my friend Eric Norris from the band Anonymous in here. And uh, the first half went really well, and then the second half I was too drunk to remember what the fuck we were talking about. So I kind of lost train of thought, which has never happened on this podcast ever. Uh, So it's been a fucking week, man. It's been a week. It's been a few months. But this week in particular has been a hard one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and encourage... All of you uh, who have friends that served in Afghanistan or Iraq, uh, just reach out to them, see how they're doing, see what, see you know what's going on with them, uh, because this is a this is a situation and um, it is bad and it is our fault, it is America's fault. So uh, no way getting around that shit. Just reach out to them see how they're doing uh it's particularly hard on them so and if any of you happen to be veterans you know feel free to hit me up um on you know feel free to hit me up you know message me on facebook or whatever and uh you know more than happy to talk to veterans anytime so um but yeah it's a particularly particularly fucked up situation And uh, I know a lot of the veterans are feeling it the hardest. Um, Even, uh, you know, kind of higher echelon guys like Jocko Willink and Chris Stewart and stuff. uh, Their reaction to it and their warning of it. And they are not happy. And I do not blame them at all. I mean, those are the guys I really, I mean... Particularly Jocko, you know, he'd been in all that shit, and um, I wish that guy had run for president. <laughs> oh, God. That'd be great. Um, a strong leader, you know what I mean? A fucking leader of men. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk, I'm not going to give any more of my attention. Just know. I'm not happy about it, and um, you guys should reach out to veterans if you get shot. Boom. Yes, that subject has been shot and killed. Anyway, getting back on the horse, uh, getting back in the podcast room and doing some podcasts. Going to just keep it exactly how we always did it, you know, uh, dedicate it for the lost, and... uh, play some uh, heavy metal music maybe some interviews i know uh next week we have Derek winters who is doing a festival here in salt lake city um all black metal bands so that is going to be very exciting gonna do a little interview with him on here and uh that will be a lot of fun especially because my buddies in occultist ritual are playing oh yeah so sexy so, changing gears, let me tell you a little story. Um, this morning, well, all week, all week I had been planning on Friday, we're going to grill some hot dogs and hamburgers right before I go to work and have a little barbecue uh, just before I go to work for me and the wife and the kids, right? So, this morning, I take my patties out. Um, and start thawing them, and I'm excited. I'm excited to grill some burgers. Um, so, the ga- day goes by. All right, it's 3 o'clock. Time to hit up the grill, get everything ready, right? Go out there, open the lid to my barbecue. There's a fucking rat, a fucking rat in my fucking barbecue. Ah. Uh, Not a mouse. Not a little fucking mouse. No, no. This was a fucking rat. And it just kind of... I was dumbfounded. It just kind of looked at me and was like, Oh, fuck. 
I should go. Big ass, thick tail. I mean, not like the ones you see like down in like the swamp areas or like New York City. But big enough that it pissed me off. Oh man. Fuck I always fucking hated mice and rats. I fucking hate them. I know some people out there have them as pets. You're fucked. Not really. But I never saw the appeal of them. Jesus Christ. They are the blame for the goddamn plague. Oh man. I fucking hate rats so much. And mice. Fucking hate them. And there's this big fucking rat. And now I know he's hanging out in my yard. Rent free. Just eating cheese and talking shit to all of his rat buddies about how he's fucking crawling up in my barbecue and fucking shit up. I don't even know if I can use that barbecue anymore. I feel that fucking violated. I feel like someone raped me with a rat tail or something. I don't know. That doesn't make sense, but fuck you, rats. God damn it. So fucking mad about it. Ah. I need to get some fucking rat traps. You know, I had a, I had a suspicion we had fucking rats. And there's a fucking, there's a, sorry to swear so much, there's a cat that comes in my yard all the time. You'd think that thing would take care of it. Ah, I, I gotta do something about this goddamn rat, though. He's laughing at me. I know he is. I can fucking hear him through the walls. He's sitting there fucking laughing at me. He's like, fuck this ginger fuck. I'll eat his barbecue scrapings. He doesn't clean out the grill regularly. Oh, man, what if they got my smoker? Fucking hell. The more I think about them, the angrier I get. Fucking rats. God damn it. Motherfuck. I fucking hate Splinter. Splinter's a fucking retard. Fuck him and those turtles. Shredder was where it's at. Shredder. Fuck the turtles. I don't know if I mean that. I'm in a weird place right now. Well. I don't know. Let me get my, let me get my thoughts together. I'm going to play a song from Ben. I've never even heard it before. Temple Kaludra from Deutschland. Um, off of Transcending Obscurity Records. Let's uh, see how this goes, huh? Hopefully they're not fucking rat lovers.
shit on a dick. That was Tempel Kaludra from Deutschland. The song was called Great Apparition. You know, I got a lot of fucking complaints tonight. I got a lot of I got a lot of things to get off my chest and bitch about. This fucking Delta variant. God damn it. Last time we spoke, coronavirus was on its way out of the great state of Utah. And now my fucking kids have to wear masks because kids are the ones being fucking targeted by this Delta bullshit. Thanks, India. You fucks. God damn it. You and your fucking Basmati rice. Actually, I really like Basmati rice. But still, fuck you. I don't blame the Indians. They're okay. Good food. Pretty women. And a few good death metal bands. Anyway. Goddamn Delta variant, though. Just fucking with everything, you know? I thought we were, out, I thought we were almost in the clear, you know? And now, Delta variant. I, this shit's just going to keep going. Okay? Delta variant will get taken care of. Then there will be, you know, fuckface variant. Okay, fuckface variant's gone. Now it's a uh, jagoff variant. Now you uh, now you can only wear shoes with fucking like leather soles or some bullshit like that. I don't know, but I got a lot of complaints, and I'm thinking maybe maybe I'm gonna walk into the woods and shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what if the fucking show just like took like this dark turn <laughs> where I get all suicidal? I'm like, fuck! You can't win! God damn it! You can't win! The sky is always falling! We're all fucked! We're all gonna fucking die! I recently uh, had to remove a person like that from my life. Every couple of weeks, the goddamn sky was falling. It was the end of the world. Every couple of weeks. Fucking. Ah, fuck. You know, this is happening. The whole world's going to end. Fucking. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. Look at the positive in the world. Okay, I'll take my own advice. Look at some of the positive in the world. Today, I held my little nephew. Fell asleep on my shoulder. It was adorable. I don't know. I think he's like uh, like five months old. I almost think that's like the fucking perfect age for kids. Because my kids right now, they're four. They're adorable. I love them to death. They can be little fucking assholes. When they go to the bathroom to poop, they're like, okay, close the door, go away. What the fuck, man? Not that I want to stand in there and smell your shit. Because... Let me tell you, a four-year-old can stink up a bathroom like a goddamn construction worker, especially the way that I feed these guys. But, don't tell me to go away. It's mean. But I was just holding this little five-month-year-old. He was just bobbing his little head around, being all curious and shit, looking at everything. So I'm walking him around the house, let him see everything, pictures and... Showed him pictures of his mom and his dad and stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, I saw I saw he started to get a little, little droopy, a little, starting to, his eyes were starting to get a little bit heavy. So I just kind of sat there and walked around the house and his little head went down on my shoulder and I just kind of held him. Ah, oh, man. I swear I could have got my wife pregnant. I could have got my wife pregnant that hour, you know, after putting the kid down, of course. But I was like, shit, man, should we have another kid? <laughs> we already got the three sons. Fuck, should we have another baby? <laughs> do men get baby hungry? I guess they do. Fuck, man. Ah, man, I love kids, though. I just love kids. I like hanging out with them. I think it's probably probably because I am a big kid. I'm just like a big, stupid, like, dork. So, I like being around kids. Because kids are just like... You know what I mean? Don't have to worry about all this bullshit. And they're always just like, you know, 
As long as they got food, they have something to do, they're fun, they're fine, you know? I don't know. People talk about parenthood being so hard and, you know, when you when you reach those uh, teenage years, I know, I have a 23-year-old son. I know, I've been through it. But when they're just like kids, you know, eh, it's pretty great. Being a dad's probably the only thing I've ever been good at. I don't know about anything else. I drive a forklift. I don't know. But, uh, man, I fucking want another kid today. <laughs> it's crazy. My wife's poor uterus was like, no. <laughs> All right. It's enough, enough talk about my wife's uterus. You watch your fucking mouth, listener. And that's my territory. You stay away. But yeah, I'm getting back on the whole podcasting again. They'll, they'll be coming out regularly. And uh, I don't know if I didn't mention this or not, but uh, Derek Winters of um, the ba- sorry Derek Rhodes uh, of the band Substan the black metal band Substain and Tragic Black. Um, he's gonna be here next week. We're going to be doing an interview. He's doing a fest. I'm going to post the link for the fest on the, uh, on all the social media bullshits. But, uh, yeah, man, he's going to be doing a fest, a black metal fest here in the great state of Salt Lake City. And I think it's about fucking time. There's been a few fests here. Only one consistent one, and that's Crucial Fest. And they have some good bands playing that. They do. They have talented bands playing that. Um, But they don't stray too much from uh, genres. Okay. Uh, It's all kind of in that category of stoner metal, sludge metal type stuff. You know. Um, Bad metal. Whatever the fuck. Um, And then... I used to do a fest years and years ago. It was, I only did it two years in a row, but I had some really great bands playing it. Um, that was called Lucifest. I would have one night for mostly like punk and hardcore bands, and the second night I'd do like uh, uh, death metal and um, like uh, you know sludge bands. So that was a lot of fun to do. But um, I'm excited about this fest that Derek is doing because this is all just like black metal bands. And it's at my favorite watering hole, Aces High Saloon. So, I'm very much looking forward to that conversation and that festival. And that festival is going to be September 25th, I believe. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to post a link to it. You guys definitely check that shit out. And, most importantly, Occultist Ritual is playing it. And there are my homeboys. Oh, God, I just said the word homeboy. Now I gotta kick my own ass. Uh, fuck. Here's a song by a friend who's a homeboy.
That was Goat Play playing their erotic thriller, Cuntaside. Fantastic stuff. Really, really enjoy that band. Uh, very different from the Werewolf Tyrant um, stuff that my buddy Sean does. But I like I like both the bands. Both are very super fucking raw. Werewolf Tyrant is now a full band with members and all kinds of shit. So that's pretty fucking exciting. And uh, yeah, Goat Play is like... I'm not sure if it's a full band or not. But it's definitely going in like kind of a slower, sludgy, but super heavy uh, kind of groove type of uh, music that, you know, fantastic. Especially, I especially like that music with the kind of vocals, like death metal vocals that he's doing with that. I especially like that. It's a lot more appealing to me personally than like the electric wizard fucking we're trying to sound like we're from the fucking 70s um vocals you know what i mean i kind of don't like that band i kind of don't like electric wizard is that weird oh well fuck you all right well folks i get i suppose we're gonna wrap it up right there thank you all for tuning in to rock up podcast remember you can always reach me at rock up podcast at gmail.com or on any of the social media bullshits Also, support Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing, 300 South State, Clearfield, Utah. Uh, Make an appointment, get tattooed, pierced, or even a facial. Um, Please tune in next week where my guest will be Derek Rhodes. Um, And we will be talking about his Black Metal Fest here in Utah, Salt Lake City. So, that should be very exciting. And, uh, yeah, man, thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Bye.